What's up guys, it's me Lego Paradise here and today I'm going to show you how to build this working Lego washing machine. So first, let's see how it works. Before we begin, we'll need to grab some laundry that we want to wash. So I'll be washing these minifigure trousers and then you can just open up the door to the washing machine to insert your laundry. Once everything's in place, it's time to switch on the washing machine so you can turn it on by turning a handle at the back and as you can see the clothes inside start spinning around just like on a real life one. So you can do this a few times and you can even change the speed of the washing machine as it's nearing the end of its spin cycle. It looks like we're done for now and if we just open up the washing machine again and take out our trousers it looks like they're nice and clean and we've done a pretty good job. So as you can see, this minifigure scale washing machine is a great size to fit inside your minifigure scale houses and buildings as it's a very compact design and it includes all of the details and decorations of a real washing machine as well as another great touch which is the door on the front which actually curves inwards just like on a real one. So let's take a look at how to build it. Here's everything you're going to need to build your working Lego washing machine. And in case you can't tell what this piece is, this is simply a Technic pulley tire, one of the ones that usually fits on these types of pulley pieces. And I'll leave links in the description to the sets which contain that piece, as well as other rare parts which I've used in this build. So you can have a look where to find them if you don't already have them. So once you've collected all your pieces, we're actually going to start off by building several sub-assemblies. So first the actual base of the washing machine, this uses a 4x4 plate with studs on the end, two 1x4 tiles, then a 1x2 jumper in the middle. And we can put that assembly aside for now because next we're going to build the top of the washing machine. This will also use up a few of these parts. So that uses two 2x4 tiles. Just flip those over and connect them in the middle with a 1x4 plate. Then it's very important this bit for how you will be attaching it later. So use a 2x2 plate on that side and two 1x2 plates facing this direction over on this side. Like I said, it's actually very important to use these pieces in particular, as you'll see when we attach this later on. Then you can finish it off with two 1x2 bracket pieces. This is where you can attach some controls and dials on the front of your washing machine. So we're going to be using a grill piece over on the left and this cool printed panel. Of course you can use whatever printed piece or sticker piece that you want over on the right. And we can also put this structure aside for now. Then there's one last part to build on its own before we build the main washing machine. So that's the handle. This will use a half Technic pin one with not much friction so it can spin nice and freely. Then we can attach this to a 1x2 Technic plate piece. And finally, a 1x2 axle piece. And there you can see we've built up the handle that we'll use to operate the washing machine mechanism. So now that all of those sub-assemblies are out of the way, we can start on the actual main section of the washing machine. So we'll build this sideways with a 1x3 brick, then a 1x1 plate over on the top there. Then next to the 1x1 plate, a 1x1 brick with the stud facing on the top, and two 1x1 Technic bricks, one with the Technic hole facing just like that, and the other one with the Technic hole facing downwards, so in both directions there. Then we can secure this in place with a 1x2 plate to fill in the gap and a 1x3 plate just to build up some extra length. Then this is where we can actually attach this handle that we built earlier. So that just goes through the back of the machine. Then on the front of the handle, this is where we can start building up the inside of the washing machine, the barrel which spins around. So it's not really a barrel, on this mini Lego version, but it still functions in the same way. So all you're gonna need to do for this is attach these lightsaber hilt pieces. It's very important 
that you see these lightsabers have angled bit, that that angled bit actually faces into the center of this Technic pulley. And just do that for all three of the lightsaber hilts. So each angled part faces downwards. And that will help provide the spacing for each of those pieces. Just make sure that all the bricks are nice and smooth so it rotates properly. And we can test this out how it will spin around some trousers. So you can see if we place the trousers inside and then turn handle, you can see how they're actually spun around inside the washing machine. Next, we can build the rest of the washing machine, which is the sides. They use these one by four plate pieces. The ones with two studs on either side So you have the smooth bit in the center to allow this to spin. Then we can build up some of the shape of the front, just a little bit behind the door. So there's a few less gaps with two one by one slope pieces to create a more rounded appearance for the front. Then on this bit here, you can attach another one by two jumper plate, just with a half stud offset on that side. Then a one by one round plate with the bar over on this side. So that should face directly upwards. And this is where you're gonna attach the door. So to create the handle or the hinge, you can just use a skeleton arm piece. That works quite well. And you can see that allows you to hinge it all the way around without this mechanism being too big. Then we're gonna attach this Technic pulley tire. So that can just clip onto the skeleton handle or hand and then just angle that so that's facing more towards the center. So that's basically facing a bit more inwards rather than outwards. And while you're building this it might fall off but it should be nice and secure once we're done. So you can see at the moment see this door is actually sticking out a bit. So that just means you're going to need to readjust it a little bit and angle this tire so it's facing more this way. And since this is a rubber piece, that should be nice and easy to do. There you go, that's a bit better and fits a bit more parallel to the rest of the washing machine. So now all that's left to do with the door is to attach the glass. You can actually remove the door for now while we attach this three by three transparent satellite dish piece. And that can just basically rest inside there. You might wanna stretch the tire a little bit so it fits inside a little bit better. There you go, once you feel that it's clipped inside, you can see you have the door. And you can see some more of the curved shape, which actually curves inwards, just like on a real life washing machine. So attaching the door properly can be a little bit fiddly, but once you're done, it should be mostly parallel with the front of the washing machine and we can build the rest of it. So we can just finish off this side with a two by four tile and a one by four tile. Then it's time to attach all of the components together to finish up the washing machine. So on the bottom, you can clip your four by four plate to build up the height and your 4x4 roof section. You can see in the middle of that 1x2 plate, that's where you can clip it onto this jumper plate so that it's actually hanging off the edge by half of a stud. And that way everything will be complete. You can open up your washing machine and insert it with your trousers. And then you should be able to rotate the handle and spin your laundry around. So I hope you enjoyed building your working Lego washing machine. And if you did, be sure to give this video a like. Let me know what you think in the comments. And subscribe to my YouTube channel where I build a wide variety of different working Lego machines and creations. So I'll see you guys next time and thanks for watching.